hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Day. This is the next project that I will be working on. Oops, I got a little bit of glare there. My apologies. Uh, so this one here I got from Shop Any Deals. I got it quite a while ago and um, I was scruffing around and found it and I thought, oh, right, that's it. I've got to do this. So this one here, it's actually quite, it's long and it's narrow and um, that's what attracted me to it because I won't need to put it on my easel and I'll just find it a little bit easier to work on um, and I can move it around a little bit it's not too big and cumbersome so this one here is a, it is 80 by 30 centimeters and the actual design size is 73 by 24 so it, it's quite narrow uh, it has 24 colors and it's looking pretty good so far so I will zoom you in so you can have a look at that drill field in we go so that drill field is looking pretty darn good don't think I'll need a light pad necessarily but I'm just seeing some dark bits in here uh, but I don't think that'll be too bad I think it's pretty clear. I just love the image. I think it's just the cutest. And the colors. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to bring you over to the symbol key. So there's your symbol key there. So you've got your, um, they're all uh, letters and they have your DMC colors next to them. So pretty good. Nice clear print. You've got your dark color with some black lettering but I'm not too concerned because like with your little D where are we there's your little D and your Z and your V um, they're quite dark but um, I can see them all together in here and it's not that much of an issue so I don't think there's much to worry about on that front so you've got two of those symbol keys you've got one on your right hand bottom right hand corner and the other one is in your top left hand corner and I'll just bring you over getting there getting there oops I'll put the corner there so there's the other one and I'll just show you the thumbnail sorry about the glare yeah, so that is just so cute. Alright. So that looks good. I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, so I'm just zooming you back out again. So I cannot fit it in the whole shot. Sorry about that, but anyway. So the sticky test bring it over here. So it's super duper sticky. And I think I've had this for nearly two years. So that's that's pretty good. So what I'll do is I will flip her over and we'll have a look at those drills. Right, so I've already kitted them up. And I put them in these containers which I absolutely love these. I'm, I use them all the time now. So when I kitted them up, they weren't in alphabetical order. You know, one was, what was one? One was P, two was J, three was W. So what I did was I took them all out of the containers and I did them in numerical order. And then I rearranged them so that they're in alphabetical order because I'm a bit of a um, OCD freak and I hate trying to find my colors. So I always do them, reorganize them. And it's so easy to do with these, um, these containers. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And then the leftover packs that wouldn't fit, uh, I always just mark them with a symbol and then I can just easily grab them and chuck them in when I'm ready to refill the container but um, these colors are just absolutely beautiful just got some beautiful reds 
beautiful. I love these blues. They're just so pretty. That's a background. And you got some grays. Got a little bit of purple as well. And as I was kitting them up, I was checking out the drills and they looked really, really good. So uh, um, I've got high expectations for this diamond painting and I hope it turns out really well. So, so there you go. That's how I, I kit those ones up. And there was exactly 24, so that made my OCD happy. I'll pop them over here. Flip them back over again. So there you go. There's my blue flower birds. I will be doing uh, works in progress right through to the review to show you how that goes. And I have bought a frame for it as well. So um, I'll be showing you that framed up at the end of my video. So uh, stick with me and we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, so all finished. I reckon this turned out really, really nice. I thought it would, but it turned out better than I expected. And what I really love first up with this diamond painting is just how shiny these drills are. It just, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's just so shiny. And I really like how they've done the background. So you've got that beautiful shading in the background and that really makes the light color of the flowers really sort of stand out from the background. And the detail in the branches there I thought was really, really good. Uh, really happy with this. So the glue was really good on this one and the drills, I found the drills actually were, um, were very, very good. I had very very little rejects i think i had 10 drills so I, there's no no point in even showing you because there's just very very little so really impressed with this i didn't have any trouble with the um with the symbols or anything like that so it was just very easy to do and because your size this way I found that I didn't need the tabletop easel. I could just work flat and just sort of zoom along as I go. So I really enjoyed doing this diamond painting. So I'll show you the leftover drills. Leftover drills. Um, I'm quite surprised how many I have left over. So there's ample leftover of um, the major colors. So you can just see there there's just plenty there and here's your major background colors i mean look how much left in that one and that one and what was the other one so they were the major background colors and you can see you just had tons left over so very impressed with that but you can see there there's heaps left over and such good quality drills too. I'm very, very happy with that. So really good. Really, really nice. So I'll get them out of the way. Flipping back over again. So with this one, I'm going to seal it. And then I'm going to do a black border around it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the border yet because I've actually bought a frame for this one. I managed to find a frame at our local cheapest chip store. I was really surprised actually because this is not a very common size. But um, the frame that I bought, I think it cost like $12, which was a bargain. And it was just your normal sort of frame you see where they have the cutouts for like 
you can do four or five different um, five by seven photographs um, in a frame and I'm just going to pull all that out and just frame this one so um, I'll have to measure it and see how it fits in there and how big of a, a border I need but I think it's going to fit it um, pretty good actually so um, I will do that and frame it and put a picture at the end of this video so you can see how I went with that one so there's my little flower birds I love 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 this came up really quick and um, I just I love that shine and with the size of it too being sort of narrow like that you can kind of fit it in um, sort of a space you wouldn't normally be able to fit sort of your bigger sized diamond painting so I'm sure I can squeeze it somewhere up on the wall somewhere I'll find a way so there you go my flower burrs I love this it's so gorgeous it's so pretty so thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time